will go one after another. The African Nations Cup is, is what is the focus is focus now. But to get to that bridge, we'll cross the bridge. Let's cross the bridge that is our fault now. And I'll begin to think of, we are not even thinking of the qualification because for sure I know we'll qualify. But we are thinking of getting the cup. When we get the cup, we'll now begin to think of how we can address the top of the World Cup. Well, I think we have to say a very big thank you to you, Coach Edwin O'Conn. Uh, for taking time out of your very busy schedule to speak to us uh, on uh, sports tonight. We've been speaking to Coach Edwin O'Conn, uh, the coach of the Super Falcons, uh, as the team uh, prepares uh, to uh, travel to Namibia for the African Women's Championship starting this weekend in Vinhawk, Namibia. Well, let me, let me come to you, Austin. I, I see that while that interview was going on, <laughs> is either you were, you were laughing at the girls, not knowing when they would travel, or... The the, what what they do in said about Nigeria, we don't sleep mm. on top of Kada. But Inka, let, let me come to you, Inka. Let me start with you. We are not sure when these guys are traveling. I mean, that's what I can pick out from what Coach, uh, Coach uh, Edwin Okon has uh, said. Uh, from, what you, from what you asked, you know, he said he doesn't know when they're going to travel. That you ask the, the NFF. NFF the question. Well, I think it's a very, very serious issue here. Yeah. I think it's just less than a week to the Nations Cup mm. or so, Saturday or so, and the team has now traveled to, to Windhoek. You know, they have to, you know, try to, you know, go there and check out the, the weather and stop familiar mm. with the weather and so many things. You know, but just like, you know, the NFF just finished the election. They've been focused on the election. Now the election is over. Now it's time for them to come back to the Super Falcons because we have a major tournament ahead of us. Mm. And they know how much they're going to get if Nigeria should qualify for the World Cup you know, in Canada this year. So I think it's a serious issue. They should have traveled by now, but they are still in Nigeria. Mm. It's very, very mm. sad. Mm. Very, very mm. sad. You, you, you are involved with the, with, with the women's game. You are the media officer of Oshun Babes. You, you heard what Coach Edwin Okon said. If you find a better player yes. outside of the 11 from River Rangers, go to this tournament, bring them, and let us see. Yeah, like, what can you say about that? Because you <laughs> play week in, week out with teams all across Nigeria in the Premier League. What can, can you, what can you, how do you respond to the challenge by Coach Okon? I think he has a point, really, you know, saying that is he wants to work with the players in those very You can well. trust. That is a point. Mm. Just like I said before we came down here, that is very, it was very close to the tournament before the NFL gave him the go ahead, you know, to select players. That is he's talking about the professional list. But what I'm trying to say is that players should be picked on merit. That's what we, all, we have all been advocating for. Players should be picked on merit. Mm. You know, he's. It's somehow like Edwin Okon is the coach of the Super Falcons at the same time the coach of Rivers Rivers Angels. Angels, doing two jobs at the same time. Mm. Could, could there be some conflict of interest in that one? Of course, I think so, because, because if we had a neutral person, just like I told Mori Madu, Mori Madu is the most capped Super Falcons player ever in history, 101 caps she mm. had for the Super Falcons before retiring. She's doing very, very well in Europe now as a coach, you know, doing very, very well. I told her if you want to come back home to coach Super Falcons, you have to pick a player, play up, you have to pick a team from Nigerian Women Premier League, maybe for a season or two seasons. You know, the same thing, people have been talking about Sam Sissiasia, that he should pick a team, you know, from Nigeria before he can coach the Super Eagles mm, or something mm, like that. Mm. Same thing is coach yeah. and understand the environment. Rest before, mm, you know, getting mm. the job. The same thing with Messi Akide, she's just there in the United States of America. She should come back, they, all of them should come back home, pick a team, maybe for a season or two seasons, they will mm. see you. We saw, we saw what the career did with the Super Falcons. She, she, she did very well. You know, we won the Nations Club six times already. Mm. You know, we, lost start, we lost start in 2008 and 2012 to Equatorial Guinea. But this time around, you know, in Namibia, we hope to win it. I'm a Nigerian. I believe that we should win the Nations Cup. But we have a lot of players in Nigeria. If only we have a neutral person that can go around. Why, why do you feel that? Because he, as a coach of Rivers Angels, also plays these teams week in, week out. So if there's an, an, there's an outstanding player in the other team, he should identify those players when they are playing against this well, team. I'm, I'm sorry to say this on here, but I think he has already made up his mind about the players he wants to pick right from the beginning of the season. I have nothing against him, but what I, don't, what I just believe is that players should be picked on merit. If mm -hmm. you work hard, like the highest goal scorer in the league, Amarachi Ojima of Pelican Stars, she has scored 12 goals this season. She's not in the list. I go go mm. Williams or Oshunbi, second highest goal scorer. Mm. She's and, a midfielder. And you can beat your chest that that girl is better than Noze, Francesca Odega, and uh, the, uh, the other girls already going to. to well, I, I, do, I, I, I well, I might not say they are better, but mm. I think they should be given a chance. Maybe out of the thirty-man provisional list, they should be put, their name should be included so that they can gain experience ahead of. You know, these players work hard throughout the season, traveling from leg uh, from uh from 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 maybe rivers to Taraba to mm. play Taraba. Queens and stuff like that. And obviously they work very hard and they deserve to be called up. They may not go to the Nations Cup. I'm not saying everybody cannot go to the Nations Cup. We also have great players in Europe. 
Isha Latawa plays for mm. FK, mm. FK Mix mm. in Sweden, uh, in, in Belarus. You know, she has scored 12 goals this season. Ijoma will be and the rest. Many, many of them, they have mm. been doing very well. more time for Edwin Ocon, he will look at those players as well. Of course, but I'm not saying this because of the Nations Cup. Now, I'm saying this because of the nearest future. Mm. You know, this kind of thing shouldn't happen again. We cannot have, you know, I understand in Europe, Manchester United, you know, the coach. Even in Africa. In Africa. Rally will have six, seven players in the we know. Egyptian national team. Of course, team. I agree mm. with you on that. But players, I think Edwin Okon, I love him very well, his mind. I love him very well. But I think he should move around, pick players on merit. These players, they may not necessarily go to the Nations Cup, but they should have a feel of the national team. If you play very well, Blessing Edo is a great player. Mm. She plays for Pelican Star. She was dropped. She plays from the left fullback. A great player, I must confess. Alania Minato of Ocean Babes, a captain, captain of Ocean Babes. Great players. Many, many great players like that. There's this particular girl in Sunshine Queens also. Patience Bokade, very, very nice player. Mm. You know, we just need somebody, a neutral person that can go around and watch. And girls from all girls. the other clubs as well. That's Okay, based on merit. Okay, let, let's let's leave the girls alone. Let's let's leave Edwin Okon at the national team alone. Let's talk about the league because the league is also very key. Uh, as you talked about, a lot of talents scattered in different clubs across the different uh, teams in the Nigerian Women Premier League. Let's talk about the league. What exactly is the state of the league? You, you told me while we were speaking that the league has improved. Give me evidence. <laughs> Give me facts to show that the league has improved. Yes, I know. Now we are now playing. Women Premier League, Premier but League. that's the title. All right, I understand. You could call it Super Premier for anything, <laughs> but the things may still remain the same. Of course, I understand that. You know, we are, we are in Nigeria, we are not mm. in Europe or America. You know, people preferred in the NPF, that is talking about Nigerian Premier Premier League, that is talking about the male, uh, the male Nigerian Premier League, compared you know to the Nigerian Women League. You know, people, you know, give much more attention. Even the NFF. They give more attention to the NPFL. If it was the Super Eagles, give more attention to the Men's World Cup. Of course, if it were the Super Eagles, it's not just uh, NFL for anybody. Of even course, we understand. We understand mm. that if it was the Super Eagles that was not that, 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 that was preparing for the Nations Cup, no, we don't know when they would have traveled a long time ago. Mm. But this is the female. Maybe NFL believe that even though we don't even give them the necessary support, they will end up qualifying for the Nations Cup. Come on, we've won it six times out of eight times. Mm. So they believe so much in these girls that even though if we don't give them enough money, they we don't agree. give them enough support. Okay, let's talk about the clubs now. All right. What about the clubs now? I think the improvement that you said as is we're seeing in the league. I think I think the league is well improved uh, compared to what we have last season. The last season. Uh, the, 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 the teams were, were, were paired into, into two parts, you know. Mm. Uh, we had Nasara Amazon, you know, winning one part and also Rivers Angels. But winning Nasara Amazon part. actually won at the end of the day, you know, when the two champions met themselves. Mm. But this time around is the Premiership. We have 12 teams in the Premiership. This is the first edition of the Nigerian Women Premiership. And we, indeed, the Nigerian League, Nigerian Premier League is the best league in Africa. I can tell it anyway. I have a lot of friends mm. all around Africa that really wants to come and play in Nigeria. They disturb, mm. you know. They only want to play in Nigeria. National team players in Kenya, Zimbabwe. They want to come to play in Nigeria. Yes, that's good. You. Of course. Players earn as much as 80,000 euro per month in Nigerian Women Premier League. 80,000? Yes. Some guys in the Premier League don't even earn 80. Yeah, that, that is that. that so is, some that. girls are earning more than the guys. Of course. And you say that the guys are, the guys are, the women have been neglected. <laughs> they have been neglected in a way. You know, you, you must talk about this, you know. Mm. You know How much were they earning before? You know, we have some teams. Like last season, I know of some team that 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 that, that they were earning players that were earning as low as fifteen thousand naira, twenty thousand naira per month. Mm. But now it's the Premiership. You know, they, you know, they have to earn more, and they have been earning more. Mm. Most of them have been more. enhanced. They have been enhanced. But the problem we have, you know, this is Nigeria. This is and they're regular. The, not so regular. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know the reason why it's not regular is because. They depend fully on the government. Oh, and the government, are government owned as well. And the government also has a lot of things to do. They have mm. to build roads, they have to build hospitals, they don't have to put all their money into football. Mm. I think that is the reason why. But mm. at least yeah, their salaries has, uh, has improved. Officiating is another thing we have in the Nigerian Women Premiership. You know, this, uh, this thinking, you know, this ideology that every home team must win, must stop in Nigerian League. Officiating should be very, very fair. But mm. it's not fair. Even in the Nigerian Premiership, it's not fair also. Ask to be at the point, it's going to tell you. In the Nigerian Women League, it's the same thing. Every home team must win. Mm. And it's very, very sad. It's killing our football. And again, one more thing uh, Dili has to do, Dili Wanchuk has to do, is to publicity of Dili the Dili Wanchuk, by the way, is the chairman of the Nigerian Women's League. Women League. I think publicity. Premier League. Premier League. Publicity. We need publicity. The Nigerian Women Premier League needs publicity. But we, we talk a lot about the women on this show. Of course. Publicity. No sponsorship yet in the Nigerian Women Premiership. Mm. Thank God we have glow in the Nigerian... Uh, for the men. For the men. But we are, all, we are also still searching for... Still looking out mm. for sponsorship. Okay, so let's, let's, let's wrap this up because our time is really running out. What is the future? What do you see? 
The league is on break. 